Have you ever wondered how people make rotating shots of an object like this where the background is completely white? Or maybe how they make shots like this? Well, it's actually quite simple. All you need is some paper, a few lights and a motorized turntable. In this video I'll show you how you can make a 3D printed motorized turntable and also show you how you can get that perfect white background. This turntable has a 3D printed body that uses skateboard bearings for stability and a motor in the middle to keep it spinning. The motor used here is actually commonly found in microwaves and it's actually what makes your plate rotate so your food heats up evenly. Now let's look at the parts we need to assemble it. First we have the 3D printed main body. Then we have the rotating platform. We need 4 skateboard wheel bearings, 4 printed pins for the bearings, a motor, a power cable with 6.3mm flat connectors on the ends and finally 2 M3 screws and 2 M3 nuts. The assembly is super simple. First we grab the motor and attach the flat connectors from the power cable. Then we place the motor into the main printed body with the shaft going through the hole in the middle. Next we insert the M3 screw and attach it with a nut on the back side and we repeat this for both sides. Now we grab a bearing and a printed pin and push the pin into the bearing like this before placing it into the main body. Now let's grab our round platform that actually has this hole in the middle that matches the shape of the motor shaft. We simply place the platform on top of the motor and rotate slowly until it grabs. Then give it a little downward force to push it into place so that the platform rests on the bearings. Then give it a spin to make sure it rotates freely and as simple as that the assembly is done. Now it's just a matter of plugging in the power cable, turning on the power and it works. Just like planned. Now grab your favorite object, place it on the platform and enjoy a 360 degree view. You may notice that I'm using a dimmer switch and I originally thought that this would allow me to control the speed but this motor seems to only have one speed because when I adjust down the power it just goes crazy and switches directions. So I'd recommend just using a regular on off switch. Now over to how we can actually achieve the perfect white background. And this method is actually quite simple. We start by placing the turntable on a surface in front of a wall. Then we can add a big piece of white paper against the back wall to create the white background. We still have to hide the black turntable and to do this we can cut out a round piece of white paper and place it on top of the turntable. Now if we place our object on the turntable already we get quite good results. But we can still make it better by adding some lights. The trick to getting that perfect white background is to really just overexpose all the white areas. And for the background we can simply add some cheap, very professional looking LED lights that just light up the background and we're getting pretty good results already. But the shadows are a bit harsh. To fix that we simply add a third light in the front that focuses on the object itself. Now we get an evenly lit object with no visible lines where the papers intersect and soft shadows. We can even experiment with different colored paper for the backgrounds and get some really cool looking shots like these. And you don't necessarily need any fancy camera to do this either. I was actually surprised at how well the iPhone performed in this type of shot. If you enjoyed this build feel free to leave a like or subscribe to my channel if you want to see more like this. I'll leave links down in the description of this video for all required parts and also links to the free 3D files if you want to make this yourself. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned something new and I'm looking forward to seeing you again in my future uploads.